The Pioneer Arc app, or Advanced Remote Control app, works on your Android phone to control the DEHX 6900BT. But before we get started with the Arc app, let's cut check a couple of settings on the head unit to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may or may not have a CD slot across the top like this one, the on-screen and button operation is identical for the following Pioneer models. MVHX580BS DEHX6800BS DEHX6900BT DEHX7800BHS DEHX 8800 BHS. So right now I'm on the AM FM radio source here and I want to switch the head unit off. So I'm going to press and hold the source button for a couple of seconds and that'll switch the head unit off but I still have the clock displayed on the screen and that's fine. So let's press in on the volume control and we want to go to the system menu. Here's system and we'll press enter and we want to go to the phone connection menu. Here's phone connect. We'll press enter here. Now I have two uh, choices here. I can choose an iPhone or I can choose an Android phone. In this demonstration we're going to connect an Android phone here so make sure you choose Android and press enter. Now we have two connection types to choose from a Bluetooth or a wireless connection and a wired connection. I'm going to show you how to do both of these things in this video. We're going to start off with the Bluetooth or the wireless connection. So I'll just press enter here. And that's all we need to do. Uh, let's press the source button and go back out to the AM FM radio. Now I'm just going to fire up the ARC app on my phone. When the caution screen comes up, you know you connected to the in-dash receiver. We'll say OK here. And now I can see I have 89.3 is the AM FM radio station here. Same thing that I'm showing here over on the, uh, on the phone operating with the ARC app. So if I touch the bottom of the screen and swipe up, I can see some other sources that are available. Here you can see I have the CD source available, the USB source, Pandora, music that is stored on my phone, Spotify, the auxiliary input, and some other apps that uh, compatible apps that are on my phone. So I'm going to go back here to the radio for right now. I have my radio station presets across the top. I can also see my radio station presets if I touch the top of the screen and swipe down. I can change the AM FM band right here to FM2, FM3, over to AM, and back around to FM band number one. I can get to additional radio functions by touching the uh, search button here. And here are additional radio functions like my local and seek settings and best station's memory. If I touch Best Station's memory, now the tuner will scan through the available FM spectrum and lock in the six strongest signals that it's receiving right now. You can see the, uh, the in-dash receiver operating to the commands of the phone. Let's swipe up and change to another source. As you can see, this, the in-dash receiver switched to the USB source and begins to play a track. Now, let's set up the, uh, the Android phone so it'll work with a wired connection on the ARC app. So I'm going to switch the ARC app off. And I'm going to shut the receiver down. So press and hold the source button for a couple of seconds. That'll shut the receiver off, though I still have the display on the screen. Now, let's go into our controls here. I'll press in on the volume control. I want to go to the system menu. We'll press enter. And my phone connection type is Android. That's right. And we'll press enter there. And this time, instead of Bluetooth, I want to choose a wired connection. So we'll choose a wired connection. And now I'm going to go back a layer here. 
and under my Android wired connection I'll press enter here and I have two settings to choose from the memory setting or app control now if I wanted to play back music that was stored on my phone I could choose the memory setting but in this case I want to use uh, an app over here to control the radio so I want app control so we'll press uh, enter there and let's roll over to the next setting which is automatically prompt the app when I plug in the phone I can have that switched on or off here uh, right now I'm gonna switch it on and we'll roll over to the next setting which is USB auto on you can choose to switch this off here but then it won't automatically start the app so keep USB auto on All right. when we're done with those settings I'm gonna press the source button to go out to uh, the radio. Now I'll just connect my phone through the USB port. So is it okay to allow the ARC app to use this? And we'll say use this by default and say okay. That'll start up the ARC app and bring up the caution screen. We'll say OK to the caution and we are playing music. If I swipe up, I can bring up my, uh, my other sources. Now let's take a look at some of the settings that you can change on the in-dash receiver using the ARC app. Here are my audio functions. And I have virtually every audio function in the receiver is available right through the ARC app. I can change my, uh, my equalizer settings, or if I touch on the equalizer screen, I can choose to uh, change any of the settings on the EQ. That'll make a custom setting for me. I have my subwoofer control here, and I can choose to, or to boost or cut the subwoofer level here. Further down, I have loudness control and automatic level control. Here's my fader and balance control, where I can drag that around the screen. We'll go back here. And here's my advanced audio settings down here, where I can get into my crossovers, uh, slopes, and time alignment settings for each speaker. In this case, we're set up in the standard mode for the audio settings. And I can choose to uh, switch the uh, high pass filter on, and you can see the adjustments that are being made on the uh, on the high pass filter in the graph up above. If I change the crossover frequency, you can see that adjusting on the graph, and if I change the slope, you can see that's adjusting on the graph as well. We'll go back up. Let's check the illumination settings, and how about changing the color on the screen? For the key color, I think we'll put that into a scan mode. And for my display color, I think I'll choose this. By the way, if I put two fingers on the screen, like I'm grabbing a volume control and give it a turn, I can adjust the volume. The Pioneer Arc app is available as a free download from the Google Play Store. Just search for Pioneer ARC.